Good morning students. In this video session, I am going to teach about uh, example to find the product of 1 to n numbers. Okay, find the product. Product means multiplication of 1 to n numbers or it should be asked as the series form. 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into like that n form. Okay, otherwise its question may be asked like uh, this also factorial of n number. All these three questions the logic is same. Find the product of n numbers or factorial of n numbers or find the product of the series. All these three the logic should be same. First we will see the logic then we can see the algorithm. Okay, first see the question 1, in, one to n in between multiplications are there. Okay, so your starting position is 1. So I am initializing the i equal to 1. For denoting the starting position, I am taking the i value. Then n equal to, here n values n, right? So I am initializing n equal to 5. My, five value, my n value is 5, okay? I am going to find the factorial of uh, 5. 5 factorial, I want to find it. So 1 to 5, I want to multiply it. Otherwise, I want to multiply from 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. My n value is 5. Why I am taking f equal to 1? Any idea? I want to store the value. See here, 1 into, 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5, right? First, I want to multiply these two numbers, right? What is the answer? 2. The 2 I want to store in one variable. For that, I am using this f. Again, this 2 into this 3. 6. So now the f value is 6. Again this 6 into 4. Okay. First 1 into 2 you will get the answer 2. 2 into 3 you will get the answer 6. So this 6 into 4 you will get the answer 24. Then 24 into 5 you will get the answer 120. For storing the intermediate answers, okay, clearly I will write here 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5, okay. At first, consider f is 1. Why I am taking 1 means any number multiply with 1, you will get the same value. Why I am using this f means I want to store these values. Okay, for example, first 1 into 2, what's the answer? 2. So, already here 1 is there. 1 into 2, your answer is 2. Now, multiply this with 3. 2 into 3, you will get 6. Now, 6 with 4, you will get the answer 24. Now, 24 into 5, you will get the answer 120. At last, Inside the F, 120 is there. This is what we are going to do. In See here, how many times I am performing multiplication? More than 5 times I am performing multiplication. If you are doing the same operation again and again, what uh, technique we have to use here? We have to use the looping concept or iteration concept. Repeat the set of instruction again and again. We need looping concept. So I am going to use the looping concept. So, the looping concept has three steps. What are the three steps? Initialization, condition, increment or decrement. Here, initialization is completed. I equal to 1, F equal to 1, N equal to 5. All the initialization. Starting value, ending value, storing the answer. Everything is over. Now, I am checking a condition. See the condition. What is the I value now? 1. 1 less than equal to 5. Condition true or false? Condition is true. If it is true means perform this. If the condition is true, perform these two steps. While i less than n, i value is 1, 1 less than equal to 5, condition true. True means repeat these steps again and again. So at first this condition is true. So what is the f value now? Initially f value is 1. Okay. f into, what is the i value? 1. 1 into 1. What is the answer? Now, your answer is 1. Okay. Again, you have to increment it. So, i equal to, what is the i value? 1. 1 plus 1. So, it is 2. 
why I am using 1 plus 1? Here the question is 1 into 2, it is incremented by 1. The question, has, question is incremented with 1. 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4. So that I am using 1. Okay. So now the i value is 2. 2 less than 5. Again the condition is true. So what will happen? Now already the f value is 1 and the i value is 2. So what is the answer? You will get the answer 2. Again increment. Now what is the i value? i value is 2. 2 plus 1, 3. So I am checking a condition 3 less than 5. Condition is true. So already what is the f value? 2. 2 into 3. You will get the answer 6. Again increment. Now the i value is 3. 3 plus 1, 4. So 4 less than 5. Condition is true. So here already f value is 6. I value is 4. So 24. Now the f value is 24. Again I equal to I plus 1. So 4 plus 1, 5. 5 less than equal to 5. Condition true. Here now 24 into 5. You get the answer 120. Now 5 plus 1, 6. 6 less than equal to 5. Condition is false. Once the condition falls, you are printing the F value. Inside the F, now what's the answer? 120. That is your answer. The same thing I am going to write in the algorithm. First start. Read the value of N. N value. Which value you want to find the product or factorial. So I am using 5. N value is 5. Now, starting position is I. That is 1. And what's the reason I am using F? F is used to used to store the intermediate answers as well as store the answer. For product you have to put 1. Why? Any number multiplied with 1 you will get the same answer so you can put 1. For sum you have to put 0. Okay. Repeat these two steps. What are the two steps? These two steps. Repeat these two steps till this condition is false. I value less than N. What are the two steps? Here you are calculating f equal to f into i. Initially the f value is 1. 1 into 1 you will get the answer 1. Then incrementing. Then 2. 2 into 1. 2. Then 3. 3 twos are 6. Like that you are performing again and again. Whenever the condition will be false it will terminate the loop and it will display your final answer 120. Stop. Okay. The same logic we can use for product of finding n even numbers as well as n odd numbers. The same thing, okay. Only one difference is there. Suppose if it is a n even numbers means 2 into 4 into 6 into 8 into dot dot. Like that it will go, right? So see here, initialization, where it is starting? The starting is 2. So 2 is the first even number, right? So put 2 here, then here also 2, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 2, 8, like that it will go. Similarly, if you want to print, uh, multiply n odd numbers, 1 into 3, 3 into 5, 7, like this means, here it is 1, here it is 2, only these two difference for finding the product of n even numbers and odd numbers. All of you understand the logics? I hope you understand these students. Thank you.